My name is Kathy and I've been coming to FCC for about 16 months. I came to First Christian Church because I went on a search for a church. I was ready to go back to church and uh, went to social media and asked some questions about you know, where people were going locally and I committed to just checking different churches out. And my first one was First Christian and it was perfect for me. I came in person, um, but I also checked out the website and got a sense of just the vibe of what was happening with um, the leadership. Uh, but then I came to a, I think it was a Saturday night service at the time. I really wanted to kind of go all in and kind of figure out what was going to be a way that I could go deeper in my own faith, but also make a commitment to the church. And so I went to First Steps and that was all good. And then I had a chance to do Growth Track. What I really liked about Growth Track is that it was online and accessible. I could go on and um, do things at my own pace. And once you get done with a, a section, you actually get to get to answer different types of questions and really think thoughtfully about how it applies to you. And I think what really struck me after I answered my first set of questions is I actually got responses back. It's like, wow, who are these people? And why are they reaching out to me? And, uh, but on the same side, it was like really thrilling. It was great to just feel like something that you said resonated with somebody else. So it's unusual for me to be the person that would go to church every week. Um, I haven't missed a week. And whether it have been online or it was outside, um, I really built, I felt it was important for me to build the experience of coming to church and being around other believers into like my, my day and into my, my lifetime. So I think that was important for me just to feel grounded. And honestly, I know a handful of people that come to First Christian Church um, or have met them through growth, growth track. Um, and I think you know, just feeling like I have a place to, to be and that I belong. You know, every week, you know, there's something goes up about, you know, text in here and you know, if you have a prayer request or you have these types of things. I didn't really have anything. And then there was a question, I think it was Stephen asked about, you know, if you're looking for something else to go deeper, text this number, somebody's going to call you. And I did that and had a brief conversation with Heather and felt like, you know what? I think baptism is the right thing for me. The decision to accept baptism as kind of that next step for me came after Easter. There was something happening, and I know people who go to this church know there's something that happened in that sanctuary during that, during that service. At the very end, Scott asked about, or Scott told a story about, you know, the ability to immerse yourself in Jesus. And I felt like for me, God, Immersing just sounded like water to me, and water just sounded like baptism to me. And that felt like 100% I'm all in. I have some really close friends that have all been part of this journey for me in the last you know, year plus. Um, so I told them and they were so excited that they all wanted to be there. I was getting ready to get to go in um, to the water. It just was interesting. Didn't, I didn't know, gosh, is it gonna be cold? Is it gonna be, you know, what's it gonna be like? But Scott came out, you know, in his, you know, uh, shorts and his t-shirt, and he was so excited for me and so excited to be doing it. It just made me feel right at ease. And I just followed him right in. And, uh, you know, again, it just felt completely like the right place to be. Like I've never been more confident of a decision I've made in my life. So if somebody came and was thinking about whether or not they wanted to be baptized, I would encourage them. I'd offer to come with them. And, and cheer them on. It is such a great experience. You know, I got baptized as a baby, a lot of people do, um, but that wasn't my decision, right? I think there's an opportunity for us to, to make our own declaration of what being a Christian means and what our walk with Jesus can be. And, you know, if you need support and you need um, to feel confidence, um, I can't think of a better way than to really get involved in First Christian Church. I really wanted to find a place where I could find joy and hope in life, and I did that. <laughs>